Mr. Young's recognized. Mr. Miller, I, I want to know why all of this happened. Uh, you and Ms. Lerner have said over the past week that IRS officials started target, targeting Americans for their political beliefs in March of 2010. That was after observing a surge in, in applications for status as 501c4. So that was your rationale. To support this claim, you've both cited an increase from about 1,500 applications in 2010 to nearly 3,500 in 2012. But data contained in the IG audit says the targeting began in March 2010, before this uptick. In fact, the audit also says on page 3 that the number of 501c4 applications for all of 2010 was actually less than in 2009. Mr. Miller, you said here today that you accept the IG report's finding of fact. Mm -hmm. How do you reconcile the facts I've just laid out showing no uptick in 501c4 applications with your stated motivation for targeting conservative groups? So I'll have to go back and look at the numbers, sir, but I think there was an uptick, and whether it's 2008. You've already indicated here, sir, that you agreed with the findings of fact in the IG report. It says there was no uptick. I, I don't. How do you I, reconcile the two? I've got to look at the numbers, sir. I can't speak to that. So you don't agree with the IG report? I have to look at the IG report on that. Mr. Miller, in June of 2011, Ms. Lerner learned uh, about the practice of targeting conservative groups for compelled disclosure of donor lists and other information. She learned that was going on for more than a year, whereupon she claimed she attempted to put a stop to it. Yet I have a letter here bearing Ms. Lerner's name, it's dated March 16, 2012. In that letter, she directs a conservative Indiana group to comply with a previously sent inappropriate information request under penalty of perjury. I have that request here. So one year after she said she stopped this practice, Ms. Lerner sent a letter demanding the group fulfill a request she had already determined to be inappropriate, a request that included a demand for donor information. This strikes me as peculiar, to say the least, and it seems to contradict claims that somebody at the IRS tried to stop the harassment in 2011. Further, this Indiana group had their 501c4 status denied on February 18, 2013. But four days later, on February 22, 2013, their 501c4 request was granted, even though they never provided the required information. So after seeing these actions and an approval of an application that looks a lot to me like someone was covering their tracks over that four-day period, how can I assure my constituents that employees of the IRS aren't targeting conservative groups they disagree with? So let me, let me uh, put this in um, sort of time order because I think there's, uh, again, there's some, some fundamental mashing of issues. There are two issues here. One is the list issue, which began about the time you say it did, I believe, and, and one is how we processed the cases. The donor list letter, and I'm not speaking because I don't know that case, but the donor list letter issue occurred much later in time. It actually occurred, I believe, and I have to go back and check this, but I believe it occurred after Lois had stepped in and stopped the listing, the first issue. Um, the development of those cases was still problematic. We had not gotten to the bottom of that, and that's why that would have been the case. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have an answer for you on the last piece of that. Wait a second here. She, she said she'd resolved this situation. She said she had stopped the targeting of conservative groups. A year later, she demands a group fulfill a request for the inappropriate information. I don't, I don't believe you've addressed that issue, sir. So, You've got so 30 first, seconds left, left to do so. I apologize. First, you should know while her, her signature is on there, her signature is on 70,000 applications. So let's not personalize this one to, to, to Ms. Lerner. Secondly, and, and probably more importantly, I, I mean, I think that, um, again, my understanding and what I think uh, Mr. George has said is that in 2011, June or July, whatever it was, she handled and, and fixed the list issue. The cases were still in development. The cases needed to be in development. There were issues. We just did a remarkably bad okay. 
time of it. All right, sir. And then it's, it's just curious, I'll reiterate, a denial on February 18, 2013, and then a granting four days later. Um, it does look a bit fishy there. We'll All have right, to time, clarify that. Time has